I'm often asked my opinion on the Hollywood medium, Tyler Henry, if I think he's actually communicating with the dead, or maybe he's hot reading, which would mean he's got information about the person he's reading ahead of time and just repeating it back to them, some piece of information he's he's found out. Or is he just making bold statements that apply to almost anyone and then just saying these things and then through the editing process it makes him look really good and very accurate or could it be something completely different now i have an opinion on this and i'm going to show you a 20 second clip where he is reading alan thick who is a celebrity from years back the growing pains series where he played the father and on this clip we're going to hear him talking to Alan Thicke. Now, I'm going to show you a photo, a screenshot from the video, and I'm going to play the audio, which is 20 seconds long, because um, YouTube tends to um, put uh, uh, restrictions on the videos if I show you the whole video clip. So I'm just going to play the audio. So listen, and let's discuss afterwards. I'm seeing a piano bench and I'm sitting on the bench and this woman is kind of putting a sentimental or some form of significant value kind of around this. Do you know of anyone on your mom's side who played piano who would kind of fit that bill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, would this be your maternal grandmother? Yes. Cool. Isadora uh, was her name and we called her Izzy. Very strong personality. Okay, so what you just heard was 20 seconds of Tyler Henry talking about uh, a woman who is an older woman in the life of Alan Thicke. And what I cut out was a long thing that Tyler had done ahead of time, talking about some kind of grandma, 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 grandma coming forward. So then he starts talking about this piano and a piano bench. And do you know anyone who has um, had a piano or who that would fit? And then he's, whenever Alan Thicke says, yes, I do, then Tyler says, oh, could it be your maternal grandmother? And he says, yes, it could. All right. So is it hot reading, cold reading, or something completely different? Or is he communicating with the dead? So I really want to know what your comments are and put them in the Put them below this video because I'm curious what you think before I give you what I think is going on. And while you're at it, could you please like the video and subscribe to my channel? Putting out these kinds of videos is a lot of work. I enjoy it, but I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the little bell so that whenever I do another video, you will get an alert. So, hot reading, cold reading, speaking to the dead, or something completely different. Well, Tyler Henry says he does not know who he is reading for ahead of time in order to do research. Whether you believe that or not, I leave that up to you. When Tyler Henry comes up to the door and you'll see him on the show and he knocks on the door and he walks in, they obviously know to expect him. The house is immaculate. Um, there's a lot of cameras and everything set up in there. And when Tyler's dropped off there, it feels like they walk in. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Alan Thick. I'm Alan Thick's wife. Come sit down and let's start. It looks like he is like within walking in the door 10 seconds, 20 seconds before they start in the reading. Now that is a fallacy. Um, we that's not how Hollywood works. You have to mic people up. You have to make sure the lighting is correct. You have to have um, a lot of prepping going on beforehand. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because when somebody comes in the door, they don't just sit down and start recording. There's more time spent getting the shot just exactly right. Um, now, if Tyler, let's just say Tyler Henry does not know who it is he's going to go and read for that day let's just let's just say that's true he comes to the door he has a phone 
of course he has a phone and he says nice to meet you you know nice to meet you alan thick nice to meet you the wife and can i use your bathroom um you know it was a long car ride over here of course of course you know, there's plenty of time because they've still got to get all the other stuff ready for him. You know, the mics and all that, the boom and all that other kind of stuff has to be done. The lighting. Now, these people have been, the crew has already been in the house for a while setting up, getting the right exact spot they want to show, the uh, film in and so on, getting the background just so. So the crew has been there for quite a while already. But it's still going to take some time. So Tyler goes off to the bathroom with his phone how hard is it to look up this man he's just met alan thick he's got a wikipedia page it would take seconds to find his wikipedia page and just have a good read through his wife probably has a might even have a wikipedia page and then there's facebook so there is almost always some kind of content on Facebook or Google Images or whatnot. This man's got his whole life is on um, the Internet, I'm sure. There's, there's pictures all over the place. So within a few minutes, few 20 seconds even, you probably have something on the person that you're about to read. Okay, so keep in mind that you do not have to find something specific. Tyler Henry is not looking to find what is Alan Thicke's grandmother's name, his maternal grandmother's name, or was she ever playing a piano or was there a piano in their life in some way? He's not looking for that. He's looking for anything, anything. It could be a post on social media about a family dog. It could be a post on social media about a vacation they took. It could be a post on social media about um, going to have um, ice cream at a local restaurant. It could be anything, any photo found. Now on social media, when I and my team are looking for something to hot read on a person, we usually go first to the photo section and we're looking at photos they uploaded, not photos necessarily of the person, but photos that were uploaded. And you're looking for a photo that looks old, sepia, black and white, or something that looks like it was taken in the 60s, 70s, even if it is color, it's just got that look to it. So you go right to that photograph first, because that's usually something put up for an anniversary, for a, a Mother's Day, Father's Day, Veterans Day, a birthday, wedding anniversary. Those kind of photos get uploaded whenever we have a memory of somebody, or it could be just an old photo. And a lot of times um, it'll say something about the photograph under there. So that's hot reading, all right? So cold reading. Could Tyler Henry have just made a cold reading statement about a grandmother, his mother's mother, having a piano or sitting on a piano bench? Well, you darn tootin' he could have, because that is a statement of Alan Thicke's grandmother he's trying to make. So pianos were very common, extremely common, a very important part of a household. Um, in uh, Canada and in America, and, and Alan Thicke is Canadian. So he didn't say that she owned the piano, that she grew up with a piano in her house. She He just makes a statement about a piano and a piano bench. So imagine all the places that a piano would be if you are somebody born in the 1930s, 1920s, 30s, 40s, and you're the grandmother, She, how many times is she going to have access to a piano? If it isn't exactly in her house, it's going to be in a place of worship. It's going to be in a neighborhood. It's going to be in her family's homes. It's going to be homes of the neighbors. It's going to be homes uh, at school. It could be anywhere. So a piano that the grandmother would have had access to and sitting on a bench is like 100% likely, right? Mm -hmm. So 
him saying that she's a vibrant personality well yeah probably if if alan thick had said no my grandmother had zero personality she just she just sat around all day and she never ever <laughs> had any had a personality boring 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 person that's very unlikely that alan thick would say that but let's just say <laughs> alan thick said that then Tyler would say, well, now that she's on the other side, she seems to have blossomed and she has so much personality over there and everybody loves her and she's just the talk of the heaven or whatever. Or he might say, well, when you knew her as an older woman, yes, she might have been a boring woman, but in her younger days, she was quite vibrant and she was fun and so there's always an out. So the psychic has an out every single time. Now, could this just be clever editing? Possibly. Um, in this 20-second clip I've given you, the first 15 seconds or so is Tyler Henry saying, is there a, um, I'm seeing a piano bench with a woman sitting on it, you know, that kind of thing. And then he says, could it be your maternal grandmother? Which of course, Alan Thick has a maternal grandmother. He has a paternal grandmother too. Whether he knew him or not, there they exist. I mean, he wasn't born in a test tube somewhere. And even still, if he was, he would have had some sort of grandparents. And so, I mean, come on now. Of course he does. And if Alan Thick said, "No, I don't think it was my maternal grandmother," then um, Tyler would just say. You know, he could say, oh, it's your paternal grandmother or it's another woman who was very close to you in life. Or it could have been he could have said any kind of anything. It would have made sense. It's always an out. You cannot be wrong when you're in this case. So these things are edited, right? They're tightly edited. And you'll hear in the last second or so. Tyler Henry says, I mean, uh, Alan Thick says, says to the camera. So it's afterwards, like. Tyler's talking for 15 seconds and then they brought in a clip of um, Alan Thick talking about Isadora, his grandmother, and what a personality she had and all that information. Now, that's edited in to make it sound like it's all kind of happening at the same time. What usually happens in, in readings is the sitter is in an emotional state uh, whether it, it, they're a believer or not, where they're anticipating it. They want to make sure they get this right. Alan Thick would love to be on camera again. He was an actor. He didn't get a lot of roles, you know, in the last 10 years or so. So getting on camera, his agent arranges this, this reading with Tyler Henry. It's his chance to be able to get more, more popularity, more fame, to be on TV, whatever reason. It's not the money. It's the they like this kind of stuff. They don't typically, actors don't typically um, shy away from roles and being able to show off his house. His wife is a huge fan of Tyler Henry. So this is a big deal for her. She's so excited to have Tyler Henry and this film crew in the house. It's a big deal. So he doesn't want to blow it by, you know, saying the wrong thing. So they're more likely to agree with things. That's a, called a motivated sitter. This is the thing I use all the time. They often give more information. They will interrupt the psychic. And Tyler Henry's perfect at being very quiet. And he does the long pause. So, and I'm not talking about pause like on a dog, but a pause. So Tyler Henry's really good at, well, that's what I'm thinking. And in that awkward kind of silence where Tyler Henry has just leaves it open, the sitter wants to fill in that time. They want to fill it in and they start offering information. And they'll say, oh, yes, and that was my grandmother. And I remember sitting on the, you know, and I remember all this information. So people over, um, they speak more and they're allowing the, the um, giving a lot of information to the, the medium that's very common and most people do it and if you ask them later and you say did you realize you were giving them a lot of information 
And they say, no, 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 I didn't give them any information. But if you film them, you could see they're giving a lot of information. And not only just by talking and giving information, but they also do a lot of this. Or, hmm, hmm. You know, they, you, you make with your face and your sounds, you're giving more encouragement. So this is all cold reading stuff. So could Tyler Henry have given him cold reading information and got a hit? Absolutely. That could have perfectly have fit in. Could he have hot read? Very possibly. If he could find something about a piano and um, that kind of information, could he be speaking to the dead? I don't think this is good evidence and nothing I've seen come out of Tyler is good evidence for him communicating with the dead. Think about how, how powerful that statement is. Well, number one, we're missing an awful lot. Just in that 20 second clip, Tyler's not telling him, I see your grandmother Isadora and her middle name, last name, address, all that information sitting on a bench. And she is uh, six years old. And she has this purse that has like a little puppy on the outside. And she's telling me that her dog's name was spot and i mean so there's a lot missing all he says is a woman sitting on a par, uh, a bench a piano bench now so let's answer this question once and for all here and again write in the comments what you think before i get to pause this write in the comments what you actually think is going on before i finish this video off and please while you're there subscribe and give me a like and hit the little bell so let's look at that clip one more time I'm seeing a piano bench and I'm sitting on the bench and this woman is kind of putting a sentimental or some form of significant value kind of around this. Do you know of anyone on your mom's side who played piano who would kind of fit that bill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, would this be your maternal grandmother? Yes. Cool. Isadora uh, was her name and we called her Izzy. Very strong personality. Hey, so I caught that again. It, he says, is there someone on your mom's side that this could have fit? All right. So that's still a pretty broad angle. I mean, you got family members, all kinds of other people. And so he's saying, I am sitting on a bench, a piano bench. In other words, he's, he, uh, Tyler's kind of saying he's channeling this person who is sitting on a bench. All right. So what do you think I'm going to show you now? Let's put your psychic powers up. And let me put this little puppy up. There is a picture of a woman sitting on a piano bench with a little boy. And there's a piano and it looks old. The photograph is fairly old. So where do we find this photo? Well, a friend of our channel sent this to me. And if you do have anything you'd like to send me, please do so. You can reach out to me on social media, on Facebook, send me a Facebook messenger request or email me at susangerbeck at gmail.com. So where is this picture from? That's right. It's from the Alan Thick official Facebook page. Remembering beautiful grandmother Isadora Gear, G-R-E-E-R, -E -E Piano Laughter, The Family Owes You Much. So this is a photograph from the official Alan Thick Facebook page. How hard would it take to find that photograph on a Facebook page? As I said, it fits all the demographic uh, standards of, that I said that I would be looking for and my team members would be looking for. If we were trying to find a photograph of any kind on a person's page and we have seconds to do it. We just want to get in and find that picture and get off. And this is an old looking photograph. Your eye goes right to it in the uploads for um, a Facebook page. Now, here's the evidence that this photo has to have been on the Facebook page before the reading that Tyler Henry and Alan Thick had done. Now, we have to have some information on that. So here it is. 
This is the date, make note of that, June 15th, 2016, the Alan Thick official Facebook page, June 15th, 2016. So when did Tyler sit down and record this recording with the sitting with Alan Thick? That's that's what we need to know. August 31st, 2016, Tyler read Alan Thick. This was on the Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry show. This is a screenshot of the Hollywood Medium show. So June, July, August. So within three months of that photo being put up on the official Alan Thick Facebook page of Alan Thick sitting on a piano bitch with his grandmother, Isadora, three months before he puts a picture up, then they record. So this photograph would have been probably right up there at the top of the Facebook photos. So when you're looking at all the photos that are uploaded on a site, this picture would have been one of the more recent ones because it only been uploaded in the last two to three months. So now what do you think? Hot reading? Did, did um, Tyler Henry come in the door, realize he's reading for Alan Thicke? Possibly excused himself for a moment. Oh, I have to answer this text mes message. Give me just a minute. Go over to his Facebook, official Facebook page. Pull up the photos. See a picture of Alan Thick sitting on a piano bench with his grandmother, Isadora. Hmm. I think Isadora is going to be coming through on our reading today. Okay, I'm all done. Let me wash my hands. Back in, sit down, and boom, here comes Isadora. Now, the the question might be, why does it Thomas, I mean, why does Tyler Henry not say Isadora? Why does he not bring her up right away? Because he knows her name. It's right there. Because it would be just too obvious. <laughs> That's why. He's not, Tyler doesn't do the, the starts with a name like a I name and he's, he's not that kind of medium. He doesn't really do that very often. I don't, I'm not sure that's kind of in his wheelhouse. He's more of a visual kind of person and long pauses so that people fill in the information and he just goes, he just agrees with them and says, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. That's Tyler Henry's uh, way. So could he have gone onto Facebook? and found that photograph in seconds, which my, one of my, one of the friends of this face, um, our YouTube channel did, could he have done that? Absolutely. It would have taken him just a, maybe a minute of some time by himself with his phone and he would have been boom, right in there. Could it have been cold reading? Yes, it could have definitely have been cold reading. He's all he says is that it's a it's a woman who's sitting on a piano bench. Do you know anybody who on your mother's side who could have been um, that applied to a, a somebody sitting on a piano bench? Yeah. And then Alan says, yeah, it could apply to my grandmother, Isadora. Why did he immediately go to Isadora and not to all the other people it could have been in his life? Probably because Alan Thick just remembered. I just put up a picture of me and my grandmother is of Dora sitting on a piano bench. And he doesn't, he's like, hmm, I just put that picture up just really recently. So it's fresh in my mind. But he doesn't want to say anything because if he's too skeptical or he makes Tyler Henry look bad, he's not going to be on the show. I mean, it's not Alan Thick's job to, to, um, um, you know, test Tyler Henry. It's his job to just go through with it. He's an actor. He does what he's told. So he's not going to say, you know what? I just put up a picture of myself and my grandmother Isadora on Facebook. Could you have looked at that photo in the few minutes that we weren't together, that you, you know, when you went off to the bathroom <laughs> earlier? Could that have been something you did, Tyler? 
no, he's not going to say that. This isn't, this is, he's just there to get a reading, make his wife super happy because she loves the show and, and so on. That's it. Then edited, carefully edited and made it look so that it's even more glowing, adding the music so that it, you know, everybody goes, oh, oh, here's the beautiful music. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be thinking wonderful things. Oh, Tyler is so cute. Oh, he's so sweet. Wow. What a genuine smile. He's so loving and caring. Anyway, so I'm curious. I'm dying to see what you guys say in the comments. Did he hot read? Did he cold read? Did he actually talk to the dead? What is going on here? Yeah, that's what I think. Subscribe, please. And send me stuff. I'd love to watch um, your videos or your audio or whatever of readings you've had from previous mediums. I would love to analyze those. So thank you all.